guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaki, and today we are going to be playing with some indie makeup. This is a brand that came in my birch box, and there is just something so freaking underwhelming about a birch box sample. And so I was looking down into this box and I saw this little eyeshadow trio, and I was just like, oh, I'm sure I'm gonna be really impressed. But when I started kind of swatching it, and the glitters had some great punch to them, the satins were really creamy, and I was like, Okay, like, I'm listening. So the brand is called The Beauty Crop, and when I did some investigation, or tried to do some investigation, I can't really find anything on the brand as to, like, what their kind of ethical background is, like, what their angle is on the industry, other than the fact that they want to use natural ingredients that are naturally beneficial to the skin. So the little eyeshadow sample that I got was actually kind of a condensed version, just, I guess, three shades of what is actually the Espresso Yourself palette, and it is an eyeshadow palette that is just absolutely gorgeous, and it is coffee-based, so I guess the coffee extract, powder, whatever, is supposed to help kind of like brighten your skin, tighten your skin. I'm really not here for that, that doesn't really phase me one way or the other. I'm here for the shade range. These colors are like me in a nutshell, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And I did this eye look with them today, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that in progress. But first, I also got their blush duo. And the blush duo, actually, interestingly enough, on their website, they sell things that come in little sets. And so for the same price as a blush, you can get a blush with a brush, and well, why not? They actually have this Espresso Yourself palette on sale right now. I was just looking at their website, and it comes with a brush, so I think you can get it even cheaper than I did, and with an eyeshadow brush. So the price is right on these items. The blush and the brush together were $10. The eyeshadow palette was 36 and it's on sale for 30 right now on the website, which is what? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 21 shadows for $30, which is pretty amazing, and these shadows actually really perform. I have told you guys in the past, I don't call myself necessarily like an eyeshadow expert. Playing in the sandbox of makeup is always a little bit intimidating for me because I have kind of a range of what I think looks good on me and so much of it has to do with making my skin look really healthy and flushed and playing towards my natural undertones and that does kind of unfortunately exclude a lot of things. But it also makes it difficult sometimes if I buy an eyeshadow palette that I think is going to be great but the formula just doesn't work. Like it just doesn't agree with me. Like I've got the 35O palette from Morphe which has a lot of the same colors that are in this shade range, but it, the the formula just doesn't perform for me. You have to add a lot of like setting spray and water to your brushes and I just find that it's not very easy to work with. This in contrast is a palette full of vivid amazing tones that you can experiment with and do a lot of different looks but the formulas actually pay off. You don't have to do a lot of work to get there. So looking at the shades in this palette, which you can tell I've been swatching to death over here, you can see that it kind of starts with your sort of warm shades over here and moves sort of in a cooler direction, but it never gets like fully, fully cool. I would say that these are kind of, even though they're sort of like neutral uh, blues and things like that, they do still stay in kind of like a nice kind of plummy family. There are a lot of mattes. This whole top line is mattes. These three are also mattes, and so with just this range, or really even these four and these three, you could do an amazing array of matte eye looks that you could wear on an everyday basis. And then you kind of get into your fun shade. So you've got like, you know, this gold roast color is insane. Look at this. Boom. Are you serious? Like... What? That was just, I just barely dipped my finger in there. This is like the creamiest, easiest to work with formula. And then I also am, am absolutely obsessed with this cinnamon cream color. This is what I actually have all over my lid right now and I applied it with a brush, not my finger, and you still get the sheen and all of that really nice textural payoff from it even with a brush. So that's what that bad boy looks like. Everybody loves a good copper, and the cinnamon cream is just like the ideal copper. So this is definitely a palette for those of us who have warm undertones, which is me. I can't wear anything cool toned, I can't tone my hair cool, I can't really wear cool tone colors very well, it just doesn't look right with me, so this is very ideal for people who have the warm undertones and like to sort of embrace them. Some of the shades that I probably won't be wearing kind of on a regular basis are the ones that kind of get into the blue tones, but a dark blue, I've never seen it really work in a lot of like palettes or lipsticks or anything like that. It's just a difficult pigment. And this one's kind of no different. It does have a little bit of sheen to it, but I do really appreciate kind of 
the consistency of it. it. It does lose a little bit of its kind of glimmer as soon as you put it on the skin, but it isn't skippy. It doesn't break up on you or anything like that. So if that's a color that you would be buying this palette for, I mean, understand that it does lose a little bit of its kind of like luster that it promises, but those kinds of tones typically do. But also, you know, these taupey kind of like silver shades are really difficult to get to pay off. I feel like they put those in drugstore palettes all the time and they're the hardest ones to work with but that's actually a really beautiful tone it goes on really really smoothly really really evenly and actually once it gets on the skin this is vanilla bean once this gets on the skin it does take on a little bit of a taupey warmth which i also appreciate could just be me though everything turns pink on me so everything turns warm so this is the look that i managed to achieve with it this was really really easy. I do not consider myself to be like upper echelon makeup artist by any means. I work with what I have, I do the best that I can, but a lot of times I'm at the mercy of the formula of the product and I will say that if you are the kind of person like me who just gets impatient with a powdery formula, this is an amazing, amazing formula for the money. Now let's talk about the blush duo. When I ordered this, I had no idea that it was a cream and a powder duo. I must not have read the website well enough, I don't really know. I just loved these colors together because it's really hard to find a true coral powder. I have a really red one, I have a really nice kind of golden pink one, but this coral, coral, coral color, since everything turns pink on me, orange is kind of the way I should lean in order to get a more natural tone once it goes on my skin. And so I was really, really excited about this and pretty disappointed when I got it in the mail and it was a cream product. I was like, oh crap, I'm not gonna be able to make this work. But I got the brush that came with it and this comes part of the set for the same price. So like, why not? With this brush, you can achieve amazing results. And I don't think that it's like the fact that this brush is something amazing. It's just a nice synthetic, semi-densely packed, kind of flat-sided angle brush. When you put this on, it goes on in this really nice, agreeable way on top of even powder and primer and even foundation and things like that. I just, I couldn't believe how easily it applied. I think it's because it's so heavily pigmented. You don't have to work it very hard to get it to actually lay down on the skin. You can just kind of like touch and blot and move it around. It's super, super forgiving. I would say it's more forgiving than the cloud paint. I love my cloud paint, but this is actually more forgiving than the cloud paint. The weird thing is the powder. So like you think like, okay, those two things are not gonna play well together, but this is kind of a, a highlight shade. It's not highlighty. It's not like, it's not gonna make you glimmer and glow, like, you know, put it up here and it's gonna make you catch the light necessarily. But it's, it's kind of got this really nice peachy sort of, thing once it gets on the skin and it it's interesting because you can put it either kind of like on top of or sort of I use it like around on the edges of where I put the cream blush and it makes everything kind of melt in and glow really naturally and I was just I was shocked because this is just such a strange choice like for a makeup company to put these two things in the same pan together it's just a weird choice I was very impressed with the performance of this and I don't think that I can give this blush up I love it I love the way it looks on my face it makes me look so healthy and happy and vibrant and like a little kid who just ran around in the snow or something like I just I love it the weird thing here and I'm sure you're all thinking it I'm sure you're all thinking it is that's a brush that is that's bigger than the pan right so like how do you keep them from like dipping into one another very carefully i would give the actual formula of this product a 10 out of 10 i would give the packaging a zero out of 10. this is the weirdest combination like give me two make it open up twice you know what i mean like a, a layered system or something like that i don't care if you actually give me more product putting them next to each other doesn't make any sense because you do end up kind of like dipping the brush into one and getting the other one on it and so there's a little bit of powder in here there's a little bit of cream in here and no they're not meant to be mixed together like you can use one and then use the other i would not recommend double dipping and then trying to put that on your face that's just like a chemistry nightmare this needs to go back to qa i think we've got some issues that we need to work out but the formula is there the color is dynamite and the payoff is fantastic. The ease of use, which is also part of the formula, is just so, so, so nice. And it really lasts all day. Like, I will wear a NARS blush and that's fine. It's pretty and everything. But at the end of the day, it's a powder. And powders just kind of like don't 
chill with my skin all day long if I'm like sweating or sebum or what, I, you know, what have you. I don't understand the chemistry behind it. But when I put this on my face, my cheeks stay this nice, lovely level of flushed all day long. And I absolutely love it. Plus, it kind of lets my freckles show through. It looks like maybe, maybe in a perfect world, my skin might actually have looked like this on its own. So loving that. Loving the blush. The other products on their website, and I have actually gotten a couple more of them in my birch box before, that I'm just not interested in. They've got one that's kind of a lip crayon, and it is kind of matte, a little overpigmented for me for a creamy lip crayon. I don't really know how to use it, it just doesn't. And they gave me kind of a berry tone. Berry tones don't really work on me. So I just kind of passed on that one. I, I gave it to a friend. The other thing that they put a, a huge emphasis on on their website is the matte lip. And you guys know how I feel if you've watched my last anti-haul or anything else on my channel, honestly, how I feel about a matte lip. I'm just not gonna spend my money on it. I know they don't look good on me. Like, I just, it's not something that I'm gonna start embracing all of a sudden. Not probably gonna be doing that, but if they come out with like more eyeshadow palettes or like a foundation or something, it does feel like this company's kind of in their infancy right now because it is all pigment products. It's not necessarily your foundations or concealers or powders or anything like that. I am excited to kind of see what they do because this is some of the best formula that I, this is better than my Too Faced palettes in terms of, yeah. This is better than my Too Faced palettes in terms of formula. I really love, love, love this formula. Like, I think that it is important that we kind of catch these brands early on before they get bought by a L'Oreal or whoever, because when they get acquired like that, more often than not, it kind of degrades the quality of their formulas. It's just a fact, it's not my opinion. And so when you catch indie brands like this kind of early on, and this goes for like shampoo or hair tools or anything like that, as long as you can catch a product line that's really trying to make its name out there before they get acquired by some big company, the quality is going to be there more often than not. And so this palette really demonstrates that. This blush, despite its weird packaging flaws, really demonstrates that and I hope that they stay independent for a while and kind of keep killing it on this level, especially at this price point, like unbeatable. I will put a link to these products below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Again, they came in my birch box, so have you guys tried any of these? Have they come in your birch box too? What did you guys think when you tried them? I know, like I said, a birch box sample, when you see a box with five tiny little things in it, it can seem extremely underwhelming, but I just have to make myself go and stick my fingers in everything because most of the time, my God, I find gems. I find things that I literally can't live without. It's just so, it's so funny. I'm just like, birch box, give it to me again. Guys, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you want to keep seeing stuff like this on my channel. And if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, go ahead and hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. We are just absolutely killing it right now. The family is growing so fast. I'm loving the interaction. I'm loving you guys' comments. Watch your subscription feed because I use the community tab a lot. I put surveys out there. I give you guys updates on my life. I ask you how your day is going. So watch the community tab where your subscriptions are because I'm posting in there kind of like non-video things all the time just kind of like saying what's up to you guys because not that many of you guys follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is kind of full of tea. Like I mostly talk about politics on my Twitter. So I don't blame you guys for not following me there. And then of course, Instagram doesn't super lend itself to just like chatty, chatty, chatty. So like if you guys are already following me, especially if you want to have influence on future videos, that's where I ask is usually in that community tab. So check your subscription feed and look for kind of my updates and then just kind of weigh in and comment and stuff like that because I'm checking that stuff all the time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next one.